Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Webflow Creators In this tutorial, we are bringing life to your Webflow website with Google Maps Join me for a quick guide on how to add Google Maps to your Webflow website in 2024 Ready to give your users the simplest mapping experience? Let's dive into the world of Webflow and Google Maps so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the first thing is to head up to your Webflow website. So simply go and log in, choose to sign in with your account, sign in and open your dashboard. And as you can see, this is Webflow. So what you should do is to open uh, already created website. So here I'm going to open designer mode and what they're gonna do is simply to take me to the page builder function of Webflow itself. So here we have to wait a little bit. There we go. And here it is. So now we have this page builder. Now what I'm going to do exactly is to simply add Google Map in several ways. And hopefully if you keep up with me, you will understand every single way. So first thing, is to click right here to click on add and with it we can add a section so here we can't really add the sections here let me just try to click right here and add another section all right all right this is like a button this is section I'm going to try to add a new section because this is like an already made template so I don't know if I can add all right yeah I can't really add a section so for you guys you can simply for example I can go here and try to remove things so I can clean up some space for my own section so I'm going to remove all of that let's do this and now we can actually add hopefully we can somehow add a section maybe all right here it is so now we have this section right here I'm going to remove this this footer and there we go so inside of this section you should also click add and you will find here a lot of things so you find the, the block list typography cms e-commerce media uh, forms you will find literally a lot of things so in case you would like to actually add map you simply have to go for advanced so here in advanced you will find search background drop down etc etc and finally you will find map so here with map you can simply click on it in case you would like to add an api key you can do that in case you would like uh, to show all settings you can click here but for us we have to add an api key we can't really edit it or do anything if we didn't if we didn't add an api key so here they are going to ask us to add the google maps api so here we simply have to click right here to create google map javascript api key click right on it and then click on get started and from here you will find apis and services so let's just wait and what i'm going to do so click right here and here for example i green continue uh, we just have to wait a little bit more and we should have our account ready so you have to fulfill these informations add uh, like some address add for example here i'm just gonna add random things let's see if they are going to allow me yeah they wouldn't allow me but here you should add your payment method add your mm year and cvc code and you should have your account ready to go after you add your google map you should simply add and paste the like the code right here so it will be a code which you have to add right here click on it and after you do so you simply have to save it so once you did that just go back to your site and go to open the designer mode so after you did that you will have these options that were be, have been locked opened and can be edited so i will show you how to edit them side by side so the first thing which is basically let me just click on it so the first thing is the address so you should add here an address how to get the address so we simply have to go to google maps there we go click on google maps let's search for example for the white house so let's go for spotify camp new 
and here as you can see in the bottom you will find here the name location stars etc and here you will find this copy address so just click on it like left click one left click will copy it automatically and paste it right here and the map will automatically adjust with the new location that you give to them now this is only for the map function there is also another way to add your own code to your webflow website and make it work as your own basically it's just gonna be adding an HTML code that's gonna be basically your Google Maps location how to do so first thing is by upgrading your plan because if we came right here to advanced you will not be able to add any code since it is now only available for the premium version so there we go after I clicked on it they said that I have to upgrade my plan to the premium version so I can have the actual feature. So here the starter would not work. So what you should do is to go for either basic CMS or business, which will give you around like a lot of look, a lot of RAM, a lot of gigabyte bandwidth, a lot of uh, visitors, uh, a lot of pages, uh, a lot of contents to work with, and a lot of CMS items so these are the most used plans so you can either go for the cms plan or the basic plan or the business plan depending on how much you would like to use your own website and this plan and features that you are looking for and simply here in the bottom you should find all these site features cms traffic seo interactions and you can literally find the best one for you now let's skip everything and let's choose let's say for example that you have your own premium plan so how to do so simply click on embed code and drag it into your section so here we have map I'm just gonna delete it and add it right here within the section right there after you did so you simply have to go to your map once more so this is the location that I want it simply click right here to share it and simply click on embed the map and this is simply an HTML code that you can copy so copy HTML code it will be copied as you can see to clipboard so the next thing is to simply paste it right into your code section and the google map should be added there is another way guys besides these two which is basically um a very very not realistic way it is for kind of like a poor ver a poor version of the adding it without api without anything which is simply by going right here for example uh, view larger map so there we go I'm just gonna make it like that and simply take a screenshot and add it as an image inside of your website so yeah guys these are three ways to actually add your Google map inside of your webflow site I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial